And we're back due to popular demand with some more SimCity. A lot of you guys wanted to see more, so of course I will deliver. This time we are in a new city area in the same region. Of course, we can already see our city as well, the roller coaster roads that we went ahead and built and a couple of these skyscrapers. And I've loaded this up because ain't nobody got time to watch the loading screen load up. It takes a little while. So here we are. Let's go ahead and play around with the million dollars that we've got so far because we are playing on sandbox mode. I think I'll just go with the... What I want to do is build a triangular city. Something completely different. We'll go test it out. Firstly, what I'll do is I'll set the angle of the camera a little bit better so we can see how the road goes up here. And is that even? I think... Yeah, no, it's more to the left. It's more... Okay, so it's... This air is shorter and this way is way longer. Cool beans, that's all right. We'll build that out all the way over here. We'll build something out over here. Maybe we should just go this way and then we'll build. Let's finally figure out which way the wind's blowing. There we go. So maybe this air will be just all industrial or something. Okay. So what I want to do is continue building triangles. So we'll be able to fit in some different buildings around. Probably on this side will be industrial because we want the winds blowing out that way. We don't really need houses next to the ocean. It doesn't really increase their... their... value, though, does it? Where are we? What am I actually looking for? We're looking land value map. That's what we wanted to say. So let's go ahead and go back to... go with identity streets now. And we'll build out from here. Something like so. Yeah, oh, that's good enough. Even though it's not perfect. And now we can go ahead and start placing some houses and all that on the outside, I think. No, houses will be on the inside, commercial in the middle, and then industrial on the outside. So I'll place actually residential around here. There we go. The rest of the area will do commercial. I think that's good enough for the time being. Maybe I'll even do industrial a little bit further out. Might. What I'll do is I'll delete all of this. I'll do all of this back into residential so we'll start getting a lot more residential buildings and all that there we go and then on the outer side of this place commercial buildings alrighty uh, in the meantime we've still got that million dollars almost a million dollars so this is absolutely useless and it costs us money as well so we'll go with pretty sure we've got a lot of wins we can even check it out. It's wind map. It doesn't say how much wind we've got though. Ah, oh, seven miles an hour. Definitely not good. Let's get out of here. Have a iffy from over here. No, you can't check out what resources you've got. It definitely looks quite weird. Definitely like Illuminati or something. <laughs> the whole triangular layout. And we've got our houses being built, so that's a good sign. Some being built over here at all. Rather far away from the rest of civilization, but we need to get back to work. Let's see. Water will definitely place it over here. It will need the power. Definitely not the nuclear. Oh, well. No, I, I am kind of looking forward to getting a nuke. Not sure where we should place it. What I'll do is I'll just increase this area with the roads. Probably build a bridge around. We might even do that now. So that's always fun building bridges and all that. Um, I'd much rather it. All right. There we go. Something like so. And I go with the straight road. 
just build it like that. There we go. That's what we're talking about. Now back to electricity. Hopefully we'll be able to get some other people from the other side of the map. That's what we should be able to get. If not, then this is going to end up in tragedy. But it should work. Our goal is over here. Lacking this little low bridge. Probably build something up over the top as well. Water. What's up with the water? Do you need electricity? I don't think you do. You actually already have electricity. Don't know how that works. I guess they start off with it. There we go. What? We're producing 200 megawatts of excess. It's still closed. Interesting. I'm not sure if that's supposed to be happening. Uh, let's speed things up. Uh, we're losing a lot of money as well. Something that I do need to think about. Because we're complete. Actually, no, let's slow it down. Build some more roads. There we go. Let's follow this. There we go. Follow the green. Go about here. Now we're able to just continue this on. Oh, come on. There's no way the angle is too sharp. What if I continue it from here somewhere? No. They're not going to let me, are they? Oh, well, that could have worked. The angle's too sharp. Whatever. What we'll do is go back with the curvy roads. That's pointless. What if we raise this up? There we go. That's looking nice. Okay. Now we'll continue with the whole Illuminati stuff out over here. In the meantime, we really do need a lot more people. What could we do to raise some funds really quickly? Like, it's not like we're going to be losing it all that much, but still. Now let's check out... Let's not go over here. Let's go back to the city and we can check the data layers or data maps. We've got no ore, absolutely no coal, no oil. Why do the housing, why does the housing pop up when we're in ore and it goes away when we're in coal? I don't think that's supposed to be happening either. A tourism map, forgot. Get out of here. We've got a train system as well, which I sort of want to go ahead and make some novel uses out of. Okay. Big jumbo jet flies above us. Not sure where it is. There it is. I can see the shadow. There it is. I didn't know that the uh, game just cuts off like this as well. Just into nothingness. All right. Been a while since I played it, but like seriously. But it seems like lots of you guys are enjoying the Let's Play, so of course that is why I decided to continue. Let's go with mass transit, trains, heavy rail tracks. There's no, oh, I guess street cars are light rail though. Street car tracks. What else is boats? We might as well build a ferry terminal. Oh, that means we're going to have to delete that road, won't it? Most definitely, that's what it means. Alright get planes as well. Let's go with the trains first off though. Angle too sharp you say? I'll actually just pull it out from here. There we go. Build me curvy road. attempts to build a circular one a circular track thirty thousand dollars for that but it looked pretty cool sort of want to build it throughout the whole city definite waste of money but I'm happy it looks pretty cool already demolish a couple of houses while we're at it Sucks that after every single time you put it down, 
the hill goes away. Oh, the, the hill goes down, sorry. Doesn't go away, but... And then I think we should probably just connect it back. Um, hmm. Oh, we can build it up to here. And then build it up over to something like so. We'll go, sorry, we'll go with straight train tracks. Not create smooth enough terrain for road here. What are you talking about overlapping? Why do overlap? There we go, I could have done that. Oh yeah, that's a bit of clusterfuck, but I'll take it. I'm hoping the trains are going to be able to escape from this. It doesn't seem like they will. Like they come in through here and they'll just be going around in circles, won't they? I'll have to do something like that. There we go. Oh, whatever. Let's just hope for the best. And we'll build a passenger train station out over here. Okay. <laughs> it's going to be mighty weird. A city without electricity. Do you really not have electricity? There we go. I guess I've only just started getting the electricity. Oh, that's so satisfying, all these clicking sounds. There we go. You're bumping in out of good. Can't complain. And we're just about making money. Just about. Still a bit more to do. So we should be good with water and all that. More residential housing. I still need a heck of a lot more low wealth residential, so they should be packing on. Now let's go back over here. Let's see anything over on this side? Okay, they are building up. There we go. Might have to delete some of these houses over on this side, but it should be good. Go with the residential housing here as well. That seems pretty good. And then we've got this whole area which we can fix up. I'm thinking about maybe an airport right in over this section in line with the train and all that. Okay. I don't think, well, I'm wondering if there's going to be enough space for two on each side, or one on each side. Or if it'll just be one and they won't pop up. Interesting to see. Um, train station closed, work as needed, water problems. Yes, you need power as well. You need to be connected to the road, I'm pretty sure. That would make sense. So let's go start with that. Go with the high density roads. Hmm. Or oh, we could go ahead and build a bridge. Over here, there we go. That'll work. Yep. Alright, so work. Okay. Seems like it's all connected now. We just need workers. That was a lot of problems fixed just with that one road. But I'm wondering if trains are going to come by. Because they shouldn't. They definitely shouldn't. Unless they like switch direction once they get to the... They probably might. How else can you upgrade passenger train stations? With just a sign. And the sign's not really going to be showing anyone anything. Well, it already isn't because it's in the cement. It's in the ground. Great architectural work right there. So, our Illuminati city. How the hell did we start making all this money? I guess because of the industrial buildings as well. Ah, we are able to fit two in. That's perfect. That's good to see. We're coming along very, very well. We're going to have two very profitable cities, and the other cities always look very nice at night. This is the Great Works area with no trees, and up top over here is the third area. As we can see, the road over there, only just. Oh, of course, people are going to be pooping. So we better get rid of their pooping problems. 
That's all right. We're okay. I'm glad they're not too fussy. They seem to be all okay, but thankfully we are sucking up the poop. I should all stop complaining soon. What are you guys' problems? No shoppers. Ah, that's right. There wouldn't be many shoppers over here, would there? Be nope. I think what I could do. Go back here. Go with the medium density. Do something like that. I'll go with the straight road now. Or I might leave it and I'll just go. There we go. So hopefully some people are going to have to start moving around here. These guys all need workers and there's no shoppers around. So hopefully we'll start growing. I'll build out an airport as well, which we definitely have enough money for at the moment. So municipal airports. I'll extend this road over here. So I'll probably need the high density, actually no. Let's just go the high density avenue. Get it connected, of course. And I'll run it like this. Even though it's, as I said, it's not gonna be parallel. Uh, I'll, that means I'll be able to upgrade the airport when the time comes. Uh, I'd rather switch the side around. How can we do that? Oh, I guess this will have to do. Place it right over here. Anyone going to complain? Uh, some people. So, alright, we can build four runways. I think there'll only just be enough space. We can build cargo terminals. Uh, and that's got a bit of crates. And then, of course, a passenger terminal if we need more people. It's not like I'm focused on tourism. Maybe I'll focus on tourism in the next city, which we're going for. It seems like a lot of you guys want to see more gameplay of this. So, of course, I'm not one to disappoint. Uh, what we should do is continue building the uh, triangle. Maybe we should really go ahead with the whole Illuminati type of stuff and just build a uh, circle in the middle. Like the all-seeing eye that all the conspiracy nuts seem to love to talk about. Let's see. There we go. That seems good. So let's just go with the straight roads now. And connect them up. Alright, that seems perfect for our... Do you, we don't really need a city hall. I'd rather maybe the mayor's house on one side and the mayor's mansion on the other. Oh, wow. <laughs> okay. Everyone's very happy. Is the mayor's mansion always this big? Wow. I did not remember this. Maybe I'd have to place it right in the middle then. There we go. Now I'll place a city hall here somewhere. Right. That's good enough though. I'm happy with the way it is at the moment. Now we'll just go ahead and place some more residential housing around. So as on this side. Okay. We could use some freight shipments. Okay. So I think well, there's a decent amount of need for industry. Nothing major, though. But a bit. Uh, fire stations and all that. All right, we're going to have to start thinking about how we're going to protect our very own citizens. Maybe I should place this right over here. And people are coming up right next to it, which is kind of nice. And upgrade that. And you can never really have too many fire station garages. Three at the moment. These seem like they're going to be pretty big houses. They're definitely no caravans. I'll tell you that. What the hell is this? This is my other mayor. Oh no, that's that's from the other city, the firefighters. Okay, 
pet. Uh, right. The roads really ain't the smartest, are they? How did this guy come over here? He must have been just driving, just chilling out or something. Roads ain't that bad. We, we don't really want to upgrade this though, do we? They're already as upgraded as they can get. Just these major arteries. Oh, we're going really quickly. This is a nice little layout that we've got around here. Oh dear, what's that stuff? Alright, you want me to build the Brandenburg Gate? Oh. Wrong button, but I'll have a look at the uh, region. Like the little semicircular roads or the sectors that we've got there. I'm back to the city. And we are extinguishing a fair amount of fires. And our firefighters are doing a bit of the work. Seems like this place did burn down though. Oh, all right, and we can see trains. <laughs> Win. They're just going around in circles as I thought. And there's three of them. Now let's slow it down. I wonder if uh, they're just gonna keep on coming. That's pretty funny. Okay. So there's just three trains and they can't get out of here. I wonder what the wait time is like. Average wait today is zero. This might this might be quite useful though. I guess maybe we won't be able to bring in passengers or tourists through the train system, but at least they ain't waiting a bit. I mean, if someone wants to go somewhere, they can go immediately. But let's go ahead and fix that up though. Here we go. Mass transits, trains. All right, this is definitely going to be finicky. All right, what if we go around like this? Definitely can't do that. Can't do that. Alright, what we're going to do is delete this, I think. So now they're going around the other way. That's much better. I love how the trains just, just stop like that. And uh, yeah, back to mass transit. Beautiful. That's what we wanted. Now they can go whatever way they want. That's going to be a big help. Okay, we didn't really fill that area in either. Everyone's much happier. Let's have a look at nuclear power plants. We can sell power to our neighbors as well. And geez, we've already played one episode, about 20 minutes or so of this. Is someone talking to me or something? And here are like, bloop, bloop. It must be like Origin or something. Uh, but we're already pretty much making more in an hour than we're making over in that city, which is quite crazy. I guess we're not really running into power problems or anything. And we are playing on sandbox mode, but that's only doesn't make anything much easier it just gives you the one million dollars and that's it which I guess cuts down on a bit of the time that's just a uh... okay. still 80 people came today no visitors though let's get out of here and go to tourism and we'll see what fun we can have gambling sure Landmarks, Brandenburg Gates. All right, that's the Polish thing. We've got the Sydney Opera House as well. We should probably beautify our city. Willis Tower, Washington Monuments. Unlock the International Airport, Tokyo Tower. The Colder Dom. Leaning Tower of Pisa. Right, that's the Brandenburg Gate. We've got 456 tourists today. Plus, it's way too much money for us. Uh, but if that's what the people want, that's what the people will get. I really want to build that for them. So, let's keep playing in this super fast mode, but take out a couple of loans. 
take out two so we can actually have a bit more money to play around with as well. When the time comes, how much is it? Oh, $350 an hour. So, where should we place this? Right here. And then, I think what I'll do. Hi, tourist man, that's always nice. Well, let's get out of here. I'll demolish this train light. And go back over here. Now we'll connect it up through here, here or something. There we go. That's going to help us out a lot more. So now what I'll be able to do is place some oh no, wrong button, commercial buildings around here. But we may be able to make use of the extra tourism. That should be a big relief. Okay, we're losing a fair amount of money from the Brandenburg Castle. It's $350 a day. Seems, oh, all right. Seems like we're making money, though. Got a lot of tourists coming to it. There we go. We're making a profit there. Good to see. Uh, does the Brandenburg Gate mean you get German-type cities? So I've got that... I got the premium edition or whatever the game was called, like the highest edition that you could get. Which I think came with the regional DLCs, like the British, French, and I think German. City-type buildings. And maybe our buildings will start turning into German ones. I think there's some requirements that you need to fill up for that, though. Overall, it definitely looks like a very nice type of uh, train city. Okay, like uh, train set, almost. Making a heck of a lot of money with this, though. The Brandenburg Gate. Lots of vacant businesses. Hopefully, more tourists will spark some more people coming in over here. Thankfully, there's no tourists waiting, so we're all good with that. A couple of houses which we can demolish. Oh god. 